Well, okay, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and start with my brows. And I probably won't do the four process on my brows. I'll probably just share with you guys just a little bit on how I fill in my brows. But I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my brows and I'm using Broadway. This is a Broadway eyebrow pencil in the shade dark brown. And I'm gonna go ahead and fill my brows in with this. And I purchased this from my local dollar store, Dollar General store. They carry the, um, the Broadway products, so yeah. I've got one filled in just a little bit, but and then I just kind of like spool it out. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use my Carmel Age Rewind Concealer and clean them up with this. And so I'm gonna go ahead and use my Vanity Planet concealer brush here and just kind of dip it in here and clean them up and I'm gonna start right here in the middle section and then work my way up and And then I just bring it on down because I do have a little discoloration on my eyes. So the brows are already done. And so now I'm just going to prime my face. Well, I'm going to use this Pore Professional here by Benefit. I'm going to use that on my, where well, I have my little fine pores and I think I'm just gonna go in and use my Smashbox because I've already like moisturized my face and it's been moisturized all day I kind of like for my moisturizer to like sit in on my face so next I'm gonna go in with the pore pore, pore professional benefit um, primer and I'm just going to put it right in my T-zone area. Okay, so I've let my primer sit for a second to let it kind of blend in into my skin, melt into my skin. So next I'm going to go in with my foundation and I'm um, trying out the 24 hour wear Revlon Color Stay foundation and it's for a combination to oily skin. This here is the foundation. It is the Revlon Color Stay. And I have mine in the shade 400 Caramel and it has a uh, SPF of 15 in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna shake it well so I can apply it to my skin. And what I'm gonna do different to kind of get my makeup to be kind of flawless, I'm gonna use my fingers. And my hand is clean because I, I make sure, that's one thing I do all the time, I make sure my hand is always clean. Before you do this, make sure it's clean. I'm gonna apply it with my fingers. And I'm gonna just put a couple of pumps on the back of my hand. Not a lot. And then I'm just gonna just work it around in different spots on my face. And then I'm gonna show you how this is way I've been getting my foundation to be flawless. And yeah, and I'm just gonna start rubbing with my I mostly use these two fingers here, my ring finger and just my middle finger. And 
you see how flawless that look? Just me using my fingers. It's just so flawless, y'all. I, I love this. Just using my fingers, it's just so, it makes it flawless. And I'm just gonna build it up. I'm not gonna put a lot of foundation on, but I'm gonna build it up just a little bit. When I first start off, sometimes I start off with just my middle finger to just like, uh, you know, kind of short strokes rubbing it into the skin. And then sometimes I rub it like that to kind of give it a, a airbrush look. And then I might have to use a few more pumps. And once I finish with that, I kind of will go in like with my beauty blender and kind of like make it a little bit more flawless. <laughs> if that makes sense to you guys, I know it, might, it probably don't make any sense to you guys, but that's practically how I do. And so I'm gonna do just another pump, just kind of like a full pump. If I don't use all of it, that's fine. flawless that make your skin it's just using your fingers it really does the trick for me then I kind of bring it down my neck and see what I kind of got like a little dark spot here and what I do I don't usually just uh, I just sometimes I let it sit there so it can cover and then where I have that melasma right here, it's kind of, it's trying to go away. I've been working on it, but. And then I also have a dark spot here. And I'm gonna uh, blend some more once I um, use my beauty blender. making sure I'm getting my neck. Cause I like to blend it in with my neck. So, after I finish that, I like to go in with my, my beauty blender and kind of like dab around it, not a lot, but just kind of even it out. Even though I did even it out a lot with my fingers. And I like, and I've been doing this technique for a minute. And the reason why I do this, so all of the foundation can get into those fine um, smile lines. And So, this here is how I do my flawless foundation. And I think it, it, looks, it looks good uh, like this. And for me, just looking at it, it looks real good. So what I'm gonna do next is go ahead and apply my concealer and I'm gonna use the Instant Age Rewind Eraser for Dark Circles, but this was in, in, in caramel as well. And I'm not gonna use a whole lot. talk a few minutes to you guys and kind of let it sit before I blend it out so it just wants once I use my little small real technique blender it just want just wipe it all away sometimes it does that you know if you go right into it sometimes it just like disappears I wanted to cover my dark circles and I also wanted to smooth out good 
and but I don't want it to dry real fast but this usually don't dry as fast but I do have concealers that do dry out fast so I'm gonna go ahead it's been sitting now for a few minutes so I'm gonna go ahead and I've already applied and then sometimes if you feel like it's not blend out as well take your beauty I mean your real technique sponge or beauty blender or whatever and just kind of go over it so you can get rid of those harsh lines and all of that another thing that I wanted to mention is that about this here real technique sponge this here's just the large one I think it's what is the body sponge? I think. And I love, I think I love it better than I do just the regular normal size one. I think I love this. Ooh, it's off the chain. So, what I'm gonna do now, go ahead and set it. I'm gonna use some of my Laura Mercier and I might use my Sasha Buttercup. I'm not quite sure which one I wanna use. And what I'm gonna do different to set my foundation, I'm gonna use this little Wet and Wild. Uh, it's like a, a powder puff. And this here will get your foundation flawless as well. So I'm just going to pat this under my eye. So you guys, that is how I get my foundation to be flawless. Uh, I'm gonna take my Clinique, which one is this? Um, my Stay Matte Sheer Press Powder, all free, and set the rest of my face. And you just press it into the skin. This is mainly how I've been doing my foundation. And so you guys, I will go and finish up the rest of my face. And I will be back with you guys in just a moment. Well, okay, you guys, I'm through with applying all the products that I was going to use on my face. So yeah, I think this foundation is going to be one of my go-tos. I love it. And I love the way that I applied it. Um, I know a lot of you probably don't really like applying foundation with your with your fingers, but it's just like a tool too. Just like for your hair, you use your fingers. You can also, I guess, use it for your makeup as well. It's just like a, a, a makeup brush. And so far, I loved it that way. It made it so flawless and it turned out real good. It's not cakey. It's very lightweight and that's one of the the pros that I like about it is very lightweight to me. It, I don't feel like I have anything on my face. I just really feel just, you know, just light on the face. And yeah, so I really, really do like this. And I wasn't sure about the shade when I first got it. I bought two shades, but I wasn't sure if that was going to be the right shade for me. Uh, so I bought two shades. I can't really remember what the other one but I might take it back so I can have two of the same kind or either get a, a shade a little bit darker than this one I might just to try and if not if it don't work out I'll just buy uh, uh, the, the same color shade like this one I think it um, is a, a great foundation my first impression is that it's, it's it did well I have done the wear on it on yesterday 
The long wear of it is good. I wore it on yesterday, which today is, what is it, July? What is it, July? The, I don't even know what date it is. Is it July the 7th? Yeah, July the 7th. And yesterday was July the 6th, so, and it worked well for me, so I did like it. And it held up well until I got back home. I had been gone, I, I put it on about 2.30, and got home about a little later than that, probably about 10, 10.30, 11, something like that. And it was still looking fresh, it was looking good. I hated to remove it because it was still looking so nice. The way I share, share with you guys, that's the way I did it. So yeah, I just wanted to let you guys see how I applied it in, uh, in the new foundation that I'm using. So yeah, so until next time, you guys be blessed and don't forget to be a blessing and don't forget to thumbs up this video and share it as well comment down below let me know what you think about this this look this foundation and if you're new here to my channel welcome to my channel and also don't forget to subscribe and hit on that notification bell so you can be notified whenever i upload videos and to all of my old subscribers thank you for coming back and visiting my channel and supporting me. I love you guys. Bye guys.